Um, yes, I have a question. Uh-huh. I've been set up multiple times. And all I wanted to do was get education on domestic violence. And the uh, person I just spoke with wanted to send officers out. And when officers come out, they're normally scheming. And they have set me up multiple times. So I don't understand why she would refuse to give me the education that I was requesting. And then ask, tell me, I hope you're feeling better when she wouldn't answer my questions. Well, so I just question? wanted to confirm or see if I was getting set up today. Because I've been set up multiple times. That's your question? Yes. I wanted to know what the officers were being dispatched out and if they're sending out mental health people like they normally do to try to intimidate me and keep me from making reports. Well, I haven't sent anybody out to you. Okay. So, well, I can you a answer some questions? Okay, what's the question? Okay. If I meet someone online and they're abusing resources to stalk, is that considered domestic violence or what is that considered just stalking or what kind of crime is that? If you meet somebody online and they won't, they won't stop sending you messages. There, it's not that they're sending me messages. Uh, they're setting me up using resources to set me up and sabotage and railroad my life. Oh, uh, that could start out with har harassing, harassing messages, harassing phone calls. I'm not getting harassing messages or phone calls. They're railroading me. Okay, well, I would have to know specifics before I can say whether something is in office or not. Well, the specifics are using abusing government resources like the police department and multiple agencies and uh, organizations to sabotage resources and setting me up with mental illness um, reports and slander. Oh, that's a that's a civil that's a civil statute you got into. Okay, so false arrests are set up and different things like that and mental health, um, false reports, that's civil? Yeah, that, that, uh, the libelous and slander is civil. Okay, so that's not a crime that the police investigate? Well, no, it's a, it's a civil offense, so it is a crime, but it's a different, it's a different arena. Who would I report that to? Uh, you got to get an attorney. Oh, so I have to get an attorney to report it? I can't report the crime any other way, through, only through an attorney? No, not for the libelous. Because I haven't been able to report it. Okay, so is the officer calling out, dispatching out mental health people and officers to harass me? No, who's calling that in? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to check because that's what police typically do. They don't take my reports. They come to harass me and intimidate me and call mental health people and detain well, no, me and arrest me. There's nobody coming out of it to your place now. How do you know? Because you haven't called 911. Oh, she said she was going to dispatch out people out. And they typically do without my consent. And then I get harassed, oh, well, detained, there, and arrested. There's no, way, there's no way for me to send anybody out from here. I was just checking because I don't have a normal okay. life and my life keeps um, someone is allowed to violate it year after year. I have no rights. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, nothing's going on now. I'm sorry? Nothing's going on now. Okay. I don't think you got my name and information. No. Do you want me to take it? Right. Because I, I want to know if she's dispatching out peop uh, officers because like I said, they mistreat me when they come and set me up with mental health people to try to detain me and arrest me and sabotage my life. And it's not a crime, it's civil. No, libelous is civil. Now, do you want me to send somebody out there? Because I've told you we didn't send anybody out there, but you don't like that answer. I just haven't given you any information and I just don't know how to report the crimes. I've said a lot of amazing things that you've ignored and won't tell me how to get any justice for it. I don't think that that's okay that police try to set me up year after year and detain me and falsely arrest me, and that's not a crime. Well, I'm, I'm not doing that. But it has been done multiple times, and it's been ignored, so I'm calling to figure out how to get assistance with that. Is it going to continue to keep going on until the statute of limitations run out like the other crimes? In the cover up? No, it's not gonna not gonna keep not gonna keep going on from here. Okay, so I've reported crimes just now. Where do I go? With all that chaos happening. Okay, well 
Okay, who sent who over? Okay, my question is, sir, if police are setting me up, detaining me for cover-up, sending mental health people out for cover-up and preventing me from reporting crimes, you're saying that's civil and I can't report it. Is that correct? No, you mentioned slander. Slander. Is I just told you. I just told you what I'm reporting. Okay, but... Who came out there? The, the police department. What officers came out there? What date was that? Okay. What's your name again? Me, Robert. And your badge number? 6083. Okay. If police set me up, detain me, and arrest me routinely for cover-up, you're saying that's a civil crime? I tell you what, it goes through our internal affairs if one of Dallas police went out there. I just, I'm asking what kind of crime that is because it's been, uh, the education has been denied for years and it's been sabotaged with mental health people and arrest. Who would I talk to regarding that? Who it is that a crime that I can be reported? Because I've been well, trying to report it for years. Internal affairs will, will have to be able to tell you. So you don't know if that's a crime? No, they'll be able to tell you what it is. Well, apparently to internal affairs is with no investigation, those aren't uh, crimes. It's okay. So I just want to make sure the prior officer is not setting me up like the other police have and detained me and arrested me because it has happened multiple times. Okay, well, when, when people are doing things bad here in the department, we always go into, it always gets reported into internal affairs. So let me give you that number. Okay, that one's, you have a pen? I've already reported crimes to internal affairs. They're ignoring it. So obviously okay. if you have power in your police department and you know, you have certain positions, then you maybe the uh, society, maybe you uh, view your importance um, as that, as that individual being more important and society may not view another individual as having importance. So this can be ignored year after year. And I have to be isolated, kept away from my family and daughter in any kind of support system. And it's allowed to continue to go on. And well, then no, the people can abuse their ba person. power and set me up year after year. Well, nobody's coming to set you up as far as I know. Now, Internal Affairs can look at things differently than I can. So, But if you don't want to talk to them, I don't know who you want to talk to. I've already talked to Internal Affairs, and apparently this isn't a crime that can be investigated. So it can, if a person chooses, or if a stalker continues to do what he's been doing, it can continue. Because there's not any consequences for it. Okay, thank you.